Welcome, dear listener, to Spirituality in the Brain. I am Vanessa Ancelone, your host, and this segment is all about the latest findings in neuroscience and the teachings of Spiritism. Today, we're going to talk about the immune system and its impact on the children's brain development. We're going to talk about here a research that was just released by researchers at the University of Virginia. And you can read more about this very research in the website neurosciencenews.com. The immune system has a dramatic impact on children's brain development. How so? New research from the University of Virginia School of Medicine has revealed the dramatic effect the immune system has on the brain development of young children. The findings suggest new and better ways to prevent developmental impairment in children in developing countries, helping to free them from a cycle of poverty and disease and to attain their full potential. University of Virginia researchers working in Bangladesh determined that the more days infants suffered fever, the worse they performed on developmental tests at 12 and 24 months. They also found that elevated levels of inflammation causing proteins in the blood were associated with worse performance, while higher levels of inflammation fighting proteins were associated with improved performance. The problem we sought to address was why millions of young children in low and middle income countries are not attaining their full developmental potential, said the lead author Nona Jung. And she says, early childhood is an absolutely critical time of brain development. And it's also a time when these children are suffering from recurrent infections. Therefore, we asked whether these infections are contributing to the impaired development we observe in children growing up in adversity. Their findings offer a potential explanation for the developmental impairment seen in children living in poverty. They also offer important direction for doctors attempting to combat the problem by preventing inflammation. Physicians may be able to enhance children's mental ability for a lifetime. So dear listener, here we have several aspects that we can discuss. First and foremost, the law of progress. Things that we didn't know a little while now are being unveiled by science. As predicted by the spirits in the spirits book, they say that many things will be unveiled by science helping humanity progress. There will be a day in which we will not suffer such things in humanity on the earth. Poverty and the effects of poverty, like the ones we're talking about here, recurrent infections due to poorness, hygiene, and other factors as well. Another most important factor that we're studying here is about the critical time of brain development, which is early childhood, the first years of life. And we know in spiritism, the first seven years of life are very important for sowing seeds of morality, of um, good conduct, but also for physical and cognitive skills as well. And here the study shows that something that people think are minor things like recurrent infections, fever, many days in fever, will impact later in the life of those children. So, you may be asking, what should we do? We need to pay very close attention to the first years of life. So, go read, please, go read the Gospel According to Spiritism, chapter 14, item 9. Saint Augustine, the Spirit, comes and tells us about how to really be up to date on our child's development from a spiritual emotional, physical perspective from the cradle onwards. We need to pay close attention, dear listener. Though we work, though we have housekeeping duties, family duties in general, there is nothing more important than the first years of a child's life because those are the years in which we can prevent even adolescence problems. It's just a matter of understanding how the mind works. As the spirits explain, uh, and in a book that is yet to be translated into English, O Consolador, the spirit Emmanuel through Chico Xavier explains that the first seven years are so important because the spirit is kind of dormant, waking up little by little, little by little in its full potential. By adolescence, it's awake. 
and of course this awakeness is all the more intense in the adolescent years no wonder they are so difficult but they will be extremely difficult if we don't pay attention to the seeds we're sowing in the most critical times for development of the brain and the mind which is in the early childhood so all we need to do is to become good observers of our own children it doesn't suffice to give them food and shelter it's much more than that it's about bringing them spiritual awareness by telling them each and every day about god showing them good behavior noble attitude christian attitude in life. This is it for today, dear listener. If you have a question or suggestion for us, just write to us at Kardec Radio. We will be happy to listen from you. Just go to kardecradio.com. We have a contact form and we'll be happy to address your questions and our suggestions. In the meantime, please keep feeling the blessings of God always.